Saving money for retirement is something that should be started as early as possible, but the way young adults need to plan is much different than other generations. And joining me this morning to talk about how millennials can start preparing is Merrill Lynch financial advisor, Aubrey Lee. Aubrey, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Keenan, nice to see you. What are some of the biggest differences between the way millennials should invest and are investing and the way baby boomers invest? Yeah, great question. So think about it in this way. The millennials are much more skeptical they understand the importance of investing, but they don't want to know, know just about why, but again, how. They, they're, they're going to ask more questions in, in terms of getting invested. So we need to dig deeper and get again into why and how. What types of questions are they asking? I mean, obviously they, they understand the why, but the, the how. What types of how questions are they asking? What's this company or how do... How, yeah, show me the data, show me the math, right? Why is it important to invest in this particular region, in this particular company? Mm -hmm. That said, though, it's still important to get involved and get invested early. All right, now what benefits uh, did older generations have? Is, has the economy changed in a way that being a baby boomer, boomer made investing different and perhaps even more lucrative than it is now? So you think about what happened in the 80s and the 90s where the markets did very, very well, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so the boomers really had the benefit of that, but the millennials saw what happened in 2008. And again, a little bit more skeptical and going back to my previous point, going to ask more questions. All right, now what you, you mentioned that they're looking for, uh, for evidence. What have you found it to be the most persuasive I don't want to say argument, but persuasive points in discussing investing with millennials. Going back to a, a point I said a moment ago, investing early, showing the importance of starting now and investing on a regular basis. That's really going to be key. So if you think about someone that's in their 20s, me talking with that person and saying, get started now, don't wait five or 10 years. No, they'll say, well, I don't have a lot of money. Absolutely, what, what, what I would say is, you must invest now. It doesn't matter how much money you have right now. Start with five or 10% out of your pay and set that aside, Keenan, on a regular basis. Right, and it's the, the magic of compounding interest, right? So if you, you start early, even if it is just a small amount of money, if you start in your 20s, it makes much more of a difference than starting in your 30s with a bigger pot of money. What can happen is if you start now, versus someone that might wait five or 10 years, the difference in the amount of money that you've built up over time could be tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, of hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next 20 to 30 years. And you know, we look at uh, the 80s and 90s, there was a lot of innovation going on, especially during the 90s. Is innovation key to investing? I think that's part of it. You know, when you, when you think about innovation, technology is an area that a lot of people will focus on, but some of the tried and true industries as well mm -hmm. are going to be important. The key is to get a well-diversified, well-balanced portfolio that, that will capture all aspects of the investment markets. So a little bit of risk and a little bit of stability and sort of spreading things out. Indeed. All right. 